You're watching Hasis TV and we're out here in Dongguang in China where we've come to the Delta manufacturing plant. Now Delta, believe it or not, are one of the major manufacturers of power supplies along with a load of other components. Now we're actually at uh, plant two and this is one of seven here in Dongguang and this one um, is actually making uh, loads of little modules and they turn out 45 million modules a month. And these are tiny little things that uh, basically um, anything that you need to go in a power supply. But Delta actually originally started out with, open the door, there we are, we'll go inside the building and we're going to have a quick look around and I can show you what Delta originally did um, when they started out. So let's just go rushing through here. You have to speed up a bit, Luke. That's it, come through this way. Right, so we've just had a little tour around the Delta factory and uh, this is a bit that I want to show you. Um, this is Delta's uh, showroom, if you like. And first off, you would not believe the number of people that Delta work with. Here's certificates which they've got. They are the first company to get the green certificate from Sony, um, but they make masses and masses of um, PS2 related components. In fact, for the life of the PS2, they made 30 million different components for the PS2. Okay, 30 million of them. But you've got other people here. So you've got Asus, um, the green uh, partner with Asus, Sharp, NEC, Intel, um, two there from Intel actually. Um, and then you've got Foxconn, Gateway, HP. Loads and loads of people work with Delta. But we're going to have a quick look around and I'll show you what Delta actually do. So let's come over here. This is what they started out with. These things here, this is the heart of your power supply. This is the transformer, which actually converts the um, AC to DC. Okay, and that's what they started making, and they made them so well, they thought, you know what, why don't we go and put these into power supplies for ourselves? So that's what they started doing. That's where the company came from. But now they make a whole range of stuff. So over here, look, we'll just have a look over here. You've got different sorts of um, laptop uh, adapters. So they make them for Sony, IBM, um, Apple. Um, and then down here, there's just some power converters. It's not very interesting, that bit. Okay, here's the power supplies, which is their main bread and butter, which is what we're here for, um, to have a look at power supplies. And that's what they do there. And they've also got the server stuff. And there's some more server class stuff there. Believe it or not, they make um, they, they are the uh, manufacturer behind the brand called Vivitech in the US. So um, there's a range of projectors. They're not 1080p yet, but they will be. And um, they do telecom power supplies. There you go. So that's actually used for China Mobile. That one there. Not right now. They, oh, this is interesting. So. All of Delta's power supplies have burning tests. They run eight, up to eight tests on each power supply, okay, so they all have burning tests before they actually go in the box. This is a way of reclaiming that energy which they've used on the burning test. So what they do is they plug the power supply into an AC source and then the DC output from the power supply goes in here and is recycled round. They reckon they reuse at least 40% of the energy which they use in the burning testing. So there we go, it's quite cool, isn't it? Right, let's move along a bit more. So we've got um, UPS stuff here. Um, over this side here, just to keep Luke switching over from one side to the other, um, we've got some stuff which looks like really quite technical. And um, there you go, you've got little spindle motors there. Um, they are one of the main producers of brushless fans here in China. So a whole massive range of brushless fans there, which obviously are going to be used on coolers. Okay, so they make graphics and uh, CPU coolers. You can see the uh, CPU coolers up there. They also do optical products as well. So you've got like the lenses for optical stuff. There's more UPS stuff there. We're not really interested in all of that. Um, but over here, here we go. We've got some, some uh, consumer UPS um, switches. They make switches for Dell. Now, these are horrendously expensive, but these guys actually make them. Plus, also, they make consumer products as well. So, you've got little Fort Paul switches, routers, that kind of thing, yeah? Um, and then let's finally come around here, because the last little thing. Oh, it's over here, it's over here, here it is. Something they just started doing is LED lighting, okay? So they've now got the contract and they're supplying LED lights for both China and Taiwan, so LED street lamps. But over here as well, you've got LED lighting for the home. And I'll just quickly take you through it. There's the bulb that normally screws into the bottom of wherever. That could be a bayonet cap as well. That's the thing that goes on there. And then you get the glass bit, it's like that, okay? And then this is the electronics that go inside, okay? And you can see they've got like these uh, little digital power things here and a couple of capacitors. And then that goes to this five, five chip LED like that, okay? And that's gonna give you nice white light in your home through that lens there as well. So there you go, that's the LED stuff that they're doing, which is the latest stuff here from Delta. Check us out on Hexis TV because we're gonna be having another look around the factory and actually look at what the power supply production.